I think that in Putin's entourage, there are people who implement whatever they think, not always even explicit, whatever they think his policies should be or he wants the policies to be. How much of it directly comes from Putin or how much of it just fits into the whole KGB, Stalin, Putinist system, which is kind of a hybrid of all of those things. Great, great Russia and to be in power in this great Russia. This is the goal to justify all kinds of means, whether it is war in Chechnya or it's uh, intrigues in Ukraine or it's uh, manipulating by gas or it's just putting down all opponents or it's just control of media or it's, uh, it's just special relations with Iran, whatever. In March 2000, Vladimir Putin, an obscure ex-KGB man, is elected as president of Russia. What thoughts cross the new president's mind as he climbs these stairs to the throne of the Tsars? Is he thinking of his games on the banks of the Neva in Leningrad, now called St. Petersburg once more? Of when he was king of the gang in the communal apartment block where his family shared two rooms? Is he picturing the heroes of his youth like Yuri Gagarin, sensing the presence of the Tsars, whose shadows linger within these walls? Or is his mind fixed on the mission he has set himself, to save Russia, whatever the cost, from the chaos left by his predecessor, Boris Yeltsin? Available now on iTunes.